In this video, we'll learn how to use a Wacom digital drawing tablet in Photoshop. I've already gone ahead and make sure that I have my tablet driver installed, my tablet is plugged in, and I made the basic settings in system preferences for how I'd like my tablet to behave. Uh, so I've just got a blank file here in Photoshop. It's 300 PPI, five inches by seven inches, but of course this will work for any size and resolution. Now we'll need to make sure that we're on a tool that uses the brush interface. So in our case, that's the brush tool. Uh, I've already selected that and set a foreground and a background color. Now by default, uh, I can just go ahead and use my stylus on the tablet to draw. And I can see I'm tracking the position of my stylus, but nothing's really changing as I vary the pressure. So I'll go ahead and undo that. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can tie in pressure sensitivity to the opacity of our brush stroke. One easy way to do that is right up here in the status bar uh, next to our opacity setting. There's this little button called always use pressure for opacity. So if we turn that on, now we're going to be able to vary the opacity with the amount of pressure that we're applying along with our brush stroke. So you can see I'm starting off very soft there and kind of increasing, uh, and that is allowing me to vary the opacity along with the placement of the brush stroke on screen. Okay, let's go ahead and undo that. Now, in a similar way, we can use pressure to vary size. So let's go ahead and toggle off our opacity control. Uh, let's come over farther to the right in the status bar. Let's go ahead and click on always use pressure for size. Now, instead of varying the opacity, the more pressure that I place on my tablet, the larger the diameter of my brushstroke is going to be. Okay, let's go ahead and undo that. So those two controls in the status bar are kind of our most basic ways of varying brushstrokes along with pressure from our tablet. Let's go ahead and look at some slightly more advanced ways to deal with those settings. And that is through the brush settings panel. So in Photoshop, under the window menu, I can click on brush settings. And that usually automatically brings up the brushes tab alongside of it. I'm going to undock the brushes tab. That way I can look at both of these at the same time. So you can see here in our brush settings, we've got this whole big list of all kinds of different options that we can adjust and some of which we can control through our tablet with pressure sensitivity or other features that our tablet's keeping track of. So go ahead and uncheck these for now, but just notice that uh, many of these have additional settings uh, over on the right hand column. Um, what I want to point out here is that when we toggle these controls in the status bar, that's behaving sort of like a shortcut to going into brush settings and adjusting uh, some of the more advanced settings. So for example, when we use pressure to vary opacity, we're really adjusting the transfer setting of our brush and mapping it onto pen pressure. And when I toggle that off, it stays off. Now, same thing goes for using pressure to vary size. When I click that, I turn on shape dynamics in my brush settings, and I'm using my pen pressure to control uh, the size of my brush stroke. So we have the option here of combining both of these things, controlling both the size and the opacity with the pressure that we're placing on our tablet. Um, some folks like to draw this way. Other folks like to be able to uh, basically pick and choose on the fly what you're controlling using the pen pressure. And a lot of times uh, we can simply do that by toggling on and off uh, these settings here. Where we run into problems is if a brush definition already has uh, some settings either in shape dynamics or transfer, um, those are going to override what we're doing with the buttons in the status bar. So you can see here, uh, I am clicking that button on and off, toggling it through the status bar, but nothing's happening to my transfer setting because I have gone and manually set that uh, in my brush settings panel. So if we are wanting to dynamically switch back and forth between controlling opacity with pressure or controlling size with pressure through these status bar buttons, we'd want to come into the brush settings panel and lock down shape dynamics and turn off and lock down transfer. So that's going to make sure that we can always, uh, through the status bar buttons, toggle on and off either the size uh, or the opacity. Uh, this is also a good idea if you're planning to switch between different brush definitions uh, in a drawing session. Again, a lot of times uh, those definitions will already have shape dynamic or transfer settings set up. Notice also through the brush settings that we get this really nice preview uh, of what the stroke is going to look like. So as we toggle on or off things like shape dynamics or transfer, 
notice how that preview is changing and sort of giving us an idea of what that brush stroke is going to look like along with pressure. Okay, so that's a quick overview of just some basic settings for the Wacom Digital Drawing Tablet in Photoshop.